Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React.js tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to display strings randomly on every few seconds. And here we got the final output. Notice the strings are displaying randomly on every few seconds. That's it. In this video, I have shown how to display strings randomly on every few seconds. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous React.js tutorial series. You can find those video tutorials on my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. I am using Visual Studio 2019 to create a React.js application. So just for the time saving, I have already created one ASP.NET Core React.js application. This is my project name. Let me expand this project. Notice here some default folders and configuration files has been created automatically when I create this application. Now client, and client app folder contains all the front end applications. Inside this client app there is a source folder. And one subfolder of the source folder contains a component which contains all our React.js components. So first let's create one new component in this components folder. Select the components, right click the mouse, add a new item. The item I'm selecting JavaScript to create a component. Let's give it a proper name, random strings, add. And here we got our JavaScript file. Now in this JavaScript file, when we want to create a component in JavaScript, first we need to require to import the React class from the React library. So let's import that one. Import React or its capital from React library. After that, I'm defining one class component called random strings extends the component. After that, every class component contains a main method called render. So let's add that one. Inside this render method, there is a return method which contains the output. The output is in the HTML format. So first, we need to add a do component which is a root element. Sorry, do element which is a root element of our component. After that, I'm adding one center tag, close this center tag. Let's add headings, how to display strings randomly on every few seconds. Let's close the header tag. After that, I'm adding one horizontal line. Now after the horizontal line, I'm adding another H2 tag which contains to display our strings randomly on every few seconds. Now here we need to export default, default ex export, so something went wrong here, huh? we need to close this horizontal line, okay. Now let's export default my component name is random strings now let's write the logic in the class component above the render method i'm creating a constructor when we declare a constructor immediately the next step we need to add the super method once we add the super method we can define the state which is a property here the property i'm adding sports let's add the sport column at this moment the sport name is empty column here we need to add the column here then here the logic first let's define an array my array my array which contains all the sports name cricket and boxing Tennis, rugby, and cycling. Let's add one more golf. 
after that here the logic I am adding inside the mm, component did mount method in this component did mount method I am adding the set interval method the set interval method to display record uh, to display arrays or strings randomly on every few seconds so we can define the time delay with the help of set interval so set interval this dot set state method in the set state method first we require to add the state here the state is the sport so let's add curly bracket here the sport column my array this dot my array I'm using math dot floor method now inside this floor method I'm adding math dot and this capital yeah, math dot random method into uh, I'm adding the array the length of the array this dot my array dot length property then as I told the second parameter is a timeout so we need to define the timeout which is a delay of the time between the strings I'm adding here thousand which is a one second that's it now the output here is this dot state dot this dot state dot sport this property I'm adding here that's it now the final step we need to configure our component in index file open solution explorer now project at the bottom node is here index.tsx file open that one right now in the render method contains the main component as a default uh, component of our application so I'm deleting that one I'm adding our component which is the random strings we need to uh, import these random strings in the header section so let's import that one here notice the random strings has been imported in this index.tsx file now let's check the final output And here we got the final output notice the strings are displaying randomly on every few seconds that's it in this video I have shown how to display strings randomly on every few seconds in the JS component thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel